if you've ever released music, you can probably relate to the fact that everybody doesn't like it. Yeah, I don't know that I'm feeling this song. Who made this? Her vocals are okay, but this beat is trash. Yeah, I think she needs to work on her vocals a little bit. A raccoon could have done this whole thing better. As proud as you are of it, everybody's not going to feel the same way. When you first start making beats, you're going to notice that the first beats that you put out are going to be criticized because they're most likely going to be really bad. And that doesn't say anything about you as a beat maker. It just says something about you as a new beat maker. These comments do subside as you continue to release because obviously you get better and people have less things to insult. As long as you have those little, little defects in your music, it probably won't be insulted. But what if it still is because of the subjectivity of music? And it still will be. You can pour your heart and soul into whatever you want to pour it into. There's always going to be somebody who doesn't like it. You can be the best person in the world. There's always going to be someone who doesn't like you. We're all different and that's what makes the world a beautiful place. But it can also make it a really hurtful one. So what do you do when you're really proud of something and you release it into the world and all you get back is shit about how bad it was? The first thing that you do is... If you see a common criticism, say the, the criticism is that your snare is too loud and like 80 people have said that your snare is too loud, you can take that and actually take it as a realistic criticism. Your snare is most likely too loud. If you hear people going back and forth as we did with the skit with the vocals, some people liked the vocals, some people didn't like the vocals. In that case, do whatever it is that you're doing until somebody, a group of people gets a bit more specific about what the problem with the vocals actually is. Until then, don't worry about it. These people have nothing better to do. The worst thing that you can do is to stop releasing altogether because you can't handle it. If you have really, really thin skin, there are YouTube filters where you can block out certain words. Criticisms are not going to make your art perfect, but what they are going to do is allow you to hone in on problems that might exist in the art. Another thing that they may do if you are just letting every comment go through and you're not filtering them at all is they will teach you to kind of be desensitized to the insult. For instance, I don't care. Insult away. And the more that you do, the further my video goes up in the algorithm. So by all means, if you have criticism that's about this video, then put them all out in the comments. That way everybody else can read them and they'll be able to pick out themselves what everybody hated about this video and be like, you know what? I hate that too. Finally. Remember that whatever version of the beat that you released that everybody hated isn't the final version. When you're leasing your beats on BeatStars, always offer stems. A lot of rappers are going to change all of that stuff anyway. If you feel like you have excellent melodies and that the idea is there, but you're not quite an audio engineer, they're going to change it anyway. It probably won't affect your sales, and I've heard multiple rappers say that. In the end, just keep creating and keep releasing, and you won't be sorry.